Hi everyone, welcome to another ASP8266 tutorial. In this one, we will create a login screen for ASP8266. The idea is login screen to hide the information, right? For example, you have some configuration file or you have some data from um, sensors from cloud that you not, you not want to share with the other people in the network. So you just create a login screen. It needs a password. Whoever gives the correct password also can access the information. This is the idea, right? So example code is available below the video, but I would recommend you to watch this video step by step. There are a lot of tricks. I just uh, write some code before start. We will not write from stretch. This code is simply incrementing a value and sends this uh, value to web browser or our WebSocket, that is all. And you create a login screen on this code. So first, uh, let's see. So first, let's check what this code is doing right now. We include related libraries, WebSocket and a web server libraries. We have an SSID and um, password. We create a server, WebSocket server also. This is the WebSocket website content. There is a simple JavaScript, as you see. It just prints the data to the screen, that is all. This is the CSS part, just uh, visual things, right? Top width, margin, and the font size we just gave. And there is a WebSocket event function. It's not called right now, but we will use it. That is why I just write there. In the setup function, also, uh, we create as a station the mode for ESP8266. WebSocket, web server is run with website function like this. In the loop, as you see, there is a counter variable. It is incremented in every cycle and it's printed to screen and also the serial output, right? That is all. Then uh, this data is sent with a JSON format over a WebSocket using the broadcast txt WebSocket broadcast txt function. That is all. Now we create the login screen, HTML, CSS, and a JavaScript file. But first we create website content. I just give 2000, this one as a size. You can uh, calculate, I cal calculated before, and we will copy with the mem copy. Uh, we need size also in the setup. To get the size, we use a size of function, as you see. Then using the mem copy, memory copy, we will copy website content counter to website cont content. That is all. Let's compile and try. In the next, we create a login screen, website login content screen. We will switch between this website content and the counter content, login screen content and the counter content. That is all. Now we create a website content login. Let's give a name. I'm not good at giving a name. So you can change whatever you want. Now we just implement the HTML side also. This is simple headers. Give a title here, login form, I just give, and style part. And also it's a good idea to first giving, creating a div types, creating a div parts, divisions, I mean, ESP8266 login page as a header. Then we create a login division as a class login and one other division also ID login with a label, password, and input type will be password. This is the password field. And we create some also button. And when it's clicked, send pass function in the JavaScript, it will be called. This is the idea. One more div I think it's necessary here. And now we write for each ID and class in the CSS for a Body, this margin is zero. Background, I just gave some color. You can give whatever you want. I calcula calculate before these things. Font family will be Arial for me. I like this Arial. Then login with an overflow hidden. I calculate this before also. 
and one margin is enough as an auto. Padding 56 pixel it will be enough. Background will be this one. Border radius 15 pixel. Hash 2, header 2, text align center, color this one. Padding 2 pixel, 20 pixel. For labels, font size 17 pixel. For password field, width and height is needed. And border none, border radius 3 pixel. It's a good idea to give some border. And padding left will be 8 pixel to the left side. And for log, and width and height is necessary. Margin left 200, pi 200 pixel right. The color will be black here. So this is the uh, JavaScript part. I just copy the JavaScript there. There is no need the other functions, just in only the new WebSocket. Then we create the send pass function. We get this string pass using document get element by ID value as a here as you see and we'll send this pass plus string pass as a JSON uh, format right using the WebSocket send function we can send directly and also before send to be sure to to debug this we can simply alert this uh, value here to debug purpose only we will remove later and now in the setup first we print we show the people very first time the login screen right so that is why you should change website content log and that is all i think let me check if there's anything wrong so let's compile and try Now it's working and refresh the page. As you see that, login page is uh, designed good. And when you enter password, as you see, you can simply see the password in the alert. And also, let's check the WebSocket event right now. When the password, actually before, let's see how this sent the WebSocket over the WebSocket, this data. As you see that, payload string, pass, is equal one two three four so we will simply get pass and a one two three four right so we will separate these two values to get the value right that's the thing and also i check the var and val here if var is pass and the value is one two three four then it will print the switch screen and simply just copy here using the mem copy it will switch the web so uh, website counter content website content counter that is all but this is not a good idea to give a same name as a size also let's change the size also size content login size counter con content counter yeah let's run again refresh the page give the password you can change this password. It is not a good idea to give one, two, three, four, right? And it will alert the screen, but it is not going to another screen, right? Because uh, it's ways to refresh the page. When you refresh the page, it will go to other, another screen. But it's not a good uh, behavior, right? We have to refresh automatically. So as, as you see, whenever you refresh the page, it will not go back to login screen. We will also solve this issue. So in the JavaScript part, simply you can write location reload that this will reload the page when you click uh, the button the password button let's remove the alert also we don't need it anymore and give password and click the button as you see that the switch is working right screen is switch easily so you can also connect from another client but this is also not a good idea right so we can give some timeout uh, to look to switch the login page again because no one, everyone 
can access right now this value. This is not a good idea. So we create uh, the start milis and we're using the milis function in the ESP8266. We will count the time. After some period, we will switch the login screen again. This is in one of the idea. You can also put some button to back to login screen. And also, we need the flag content, as you see. If the flag content is one, that means it wants to, uh, someone click the button, sending the correct password. We read the current milis and start milis. And after some period, let's define the period here. I just write right now, and there are five seconds. You can increase it. You can increase it, don't worry. If it's greater than the period, five seconds, then simply switch screen like before we did and copy I think in the in the setup in the setup maybe more correct right we will switch to um, login we will switch to login page right so flag content will be zero let's assign the current minutes to start minutes then also if a flag content when is equal to one we can send this data right otherwise there is no necessary to send over the WebSocket that is all And let's check, is there any missing part? And also, there will be set interval. It will uh, reload after five seconds in the, in the uh, counter page, right? There is also necessary to reload automatically after five seconds. This should be unsigned. Refresh the page, give the password, as you see that. When you uh, give wrong password, it will not switch. One, two, three, four, just type and login. And it will switch to counter screen, right? Counter content. And after five seconds, it will switch back. As you see, you cannot go to another screen, the counter screen right now. When you give the correct num correct password, one, two, three, four, you can log in to see the data. Right. It's cool. So guys, uh, that is all for me here. But here and a lot of security issues actually. This is when you someone sniff the network, he or she can simply see the password here. To solve these issues, we can use SSL libraries. But this is not the scope right now. Then I will uh, later. Then I will tell you later what is it. Then I will explain later how we can use these things within ESPA266. Also, you can check a HTTP connection. This will be more good idea because when there is an HTTP connection is available, for example, only one, then you can check the password, right? So no one can send over a WebSocket directly. We will use uh, web browsers here, so we need an HTTP server, right? But uh, we can also use directly. WebSocket a client. So this is the also another issue. Some timeout also maybe if there someone can send more requests to solve the password, maybe. This is not a good idea. So see you around, that is all for me. Don't forget to subscribe.